Angel, and I am doing today's Advent reading. We are on day number seven, and it is called Free at Last, the Story of Moses. Now, I'm pretty excited about this because I love the story of Moses. Here he is, right down here. Let's get started. <clears throat> Abram had a son named Isaac, and Isaac had a son named Jacob, and Jacob had a son named Joseph, who saved God's people from famine by bringing them to Egypt. When the famine was over, Joseph and his brothers didn't follow God out of Egypt. Neither did their children or their children's children, or their children's children's children. And even though God's family was now bigger than ever, they were about to be in trouble because a new king began to rule Egypt. This king was very mean to God's people. He made them his slaves. All day long they work work and worked. Whew. They didn't get snack breaks or time to play or anything. That sounds pretty hard. God's people felt alone and crushed. So they cried out to God, where are you? We need you. Have you ever cried out to somebody when you felt alone? That's what they were doing. They wanted God. They wanted his help. Let's see what happens. Well, God, he heard their cries and he saw their trouble and his heart was breaking over all of it. Especially how God's people felt all alone. Hmm. He would find a way to be back to them again. God picked a man named Moses to rescue his people. Moses knew all about slavery, but he tried to rescue God's people once before and it hadn't worked. So he had given up now. Now he was out in the wilderness watching sheep. Oh, here's a sheep. Oh. That's what Moses had to watch. Let's put him back. <laughs> All right. Until one day, he walked by a bush. Not any old bush, mind you, but a bush that was on fire. And it didn't burn up. Hmm. Have you ever seen a bush that was burning and it wasn't consumed? That it just stayed burning, burning, burning. Me neither. It'd be nice to see a bush that didn't burn. <laughs> when Moses got closer, God started talking to him. Oh. <clears throat> I know my people are suffering and alone. I hear their cries. I see their chains. Their slavery ends now. Moses thought, wow, that was good news, but he wasn't sure what he had to do with it. Then God said, Moses, you're going to be the one to tell Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, you're going to say, let my people go. <sighs> could even kill him. But God knew that Moses was scared. So he gave him an important promise. He said, I'll be with you the entire time. Oh, what a relief. Have you ever felt that? Like when you were really scared to have someone with you would be such a comfort. Well, here it was. God was telling Moses, I see that you're scared, but don't worry. I'll be with you the entire time. 
so you don't have to be scared. So Moses told Pharaoh everything that God had said. But Pharaoh didn't want to let the people of God go at first. So God started sending Pharaoh terrible plagues. God turned the Nile River into blood, but Pharaoh didn't listen. So God sent more plagues. He made frogs cover the land. And after that, he sent little gnats to cover the frogs. And after that, sickness and huge boils and huge hailstones and a storm of locusts. <laughs> and then a terrible darkness. Moses to warn Pharaoh about the last plague. He said, let God's people go or the firstborn son in every family will die. God also used Moses to warn God's people. So Moses had to warn Pharaoh and he had to warn God's people. Listen closely. Every family needs to take a lamb. You need to kill the lamb and you need to put its blood over your doorposts. That way, when God comes and when he visits, he'll see the blood whoop, and pass right over your house. Sure enough, that night, many people died, including Pharaoh's very own son. Finally, Pharaoh told God's people, you aren't my slaves anymore. Go. God's people were free at last, free at last. For years to come, even when it was hard, even when they wandered in the wilderness, even when they weren't sure where they were going or what was going to happen next, they remembered how God had saved them and rescued them from slavery in Egypt. But as the years went on and on, as they do, people stopped remembering. They had plenty of reasons to remember, but they thought about other things instead. They thought about how strong they were. Very strong. And they didn't want to be in the wilderness anymore. They even started to miss Egypt. Can you imagine missing the place where you were a slave? Hmm. They did. They missed Egypt. <sighs> and it led them back to the same old problem. That is where today's reading ends. But it leaves you with a final thought. Here it is. God couldn't remain. Sin drove him away. So Moses and God's people began to hope and pray. God, will you come back?